Well, today is the eighth year that Cal Lutheran University and the City of Ventura have partnered to do the You Got Served Community Service Project. So we have about 630 students from Cal Lutheran University, along with staff and volunteers from the community and staff from the City of Ventura and the Ventura Hillsides Conservancy. We're cutting down uh, Arundo which is kind of a bamboo-ish species, and it's an invasive species, so it's taken over through the riverbed here, and um, we're taking it down because, first of all, it's um, taking away resources from the other plants that are native to the area, and also because a large homeless population has um, come into this area and is using it for housing. The Arendo, I, as I understand it, was brought here as an erosion control device from the Philippines or someplace in Southeast Asia, and Unfortunately, it has been too invasive. It's, it's a very strong, grassy-like substance that overtakes the natural flora. The first phase was to get rid of all the trash that had accumulated over the last 80 or 90 years. And now that that's successfully completed, this is the next wave of restoration and trail work. And this is the second phase of our restoration program, uh, all part of the River Parkway program to reconnect Ventura with its river. Well, as I understand it, as in many cases, the uh, invasive species uh, do all kinds of unintended but damaging things. One, they tend to eliminate native species, plants and animals, and I know the hope is those can begin to be restored. They also serve, in this case, as a way to entrap refuse, other forms of garbage that uh, get tangled up and then when the winter rains come can be swept out in the ocean. It's not useful. It's not an erosion control device and it's time for it to be removed so that the natural uh, plants, shrubs, and trees can come back. We've done this, as I said, eight years, and the logistics to pull together 600 plus students and partners like the Ventura Hillsides Conservancy and the city's volunteer Ventura program, um, they're very smooth in the way they put together the operation. They have it very well coordinated. We have different areas of the river bottom that we're all working in. And these students are incredibly hardworking and impressive. They're doing a fantastic job. I've seen them every year do an amazing job. I love that I get to lead this group and I love that um, I get to represent my school being out here. I think that's huge. I love to bleed purple and gold. Um, and I feel a great sense of accomplishment walking away from an area and knowing I left it better than I found it. And I think that's super important in this case is we are walking away leaving the riverbed better than the state it was in. And if that's just taking us dedicating three hours, I think that's a great use of our time. It's important to me because I think they're the next generation of people that are going to be the caretakers for our community. Whereas you and I go out and do it today, we're members, we volunteer, they're just getting started. They're busy with their schoolwork, they're busy finding out who they are and learning how to live on their own. But at some point, they're going to want to give back to the community. And the more they know about the community, the better chance that they can be productive and, and help make a better community. Every year I'm so proud of what these uh, young people do, these young men and women that are coming to our university and they come in and they work real hard and that makes you feel good about education. People are singing and whistling and cussing, <laughs> getting sweaty, um, you know, branches fall on their heads and you know, it's, it's fun work. They're good kids, um, they have good hearts, they ask questions, they're really curious about the big picture. We couldn't do it without the city of Ventura and the Conservancy. Without partners like that, none of this would be possible. It's a team effort, and we're very grateful to them for it.